Today is the 27th of May, 2022. Thanks for tuning in to my official YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to my official YouTube channel, as well as go to my website, www.susanmeeling.com, same as www.ladydorybelt.com. And make sure to share the link to my official YouTube videos, as well as share the link to my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, on my website, www.susanmeeling.com. So, I was listening to Governor Greg Abbott in the state of Texas give a speech in reference to the Uvalde, Texas shooting. Again, my condolences. And so in that particular reference, as to there was a little bit of a question answer period, I'm gonna go into a few other factors. Again, make sure to check out my official YouTube video links that I'll include regarding uh, not just the channel of mine, though regarding a few connected, correlated situations specifically that you can watch and listen to my official YouTube videos regarding certain factors as to my personal experiences in the state of Texas, though not just in the state of Texas because of having seen certain things beforehand. So in reference to the social media aspect, which I've already gone into certain details about, there's also in reference to the fact of prescription medications. Now I've brought this up in reference to the military, the Armed Forces of the United States of America. It's a controlled setting. You have the situations of everybody there in that capacity. So people who've been through basic training in AIT understand certain things from what they've seen, what they've heard and so on and so forth. Well, then there's the aspects in reference to foster care and orphanages. If anybody hadn't thought about that, I've brought this up beforehand. My biological father was put into foster care and orphanages when he was 10 years old by his biological father after what occurred to his biological mother. His sister had stayed with my Buk Gung and my Buk Pu growing up in comparison. And so then there's the situation, as people know, in reference to my daughter and the Fort Worth Sioux field trip in the year of 2010. My biological father was put into orphanages and foster care because he had come down with tuberculosis. And where the situations were regarding that time frame in the 1950s to the situations regarding the health care as to what my daughter went through in a different capacity. So I've explained what I dealt with as a child in reference to not only Old Tenet Presbyterian Church and the situations of Recently, I had listened to a YouTube movie video called Third Eye Spies, and there are certain paranormal, parapsychological, SRI, something another, I can't remember the full details, though my biological father was a trustee at Old Tenet Presbyterian Church, as my biological mother, was a deacon of the same Presbyterian Church and then also a part of TRF. And while my biological mother grew up with my grandpa Gabbett and my grandma Gabbett, as my biological father grew up in orphanages and foster care, those particular situations in comparison to myself so I had made attempts to go to the army for a while and my biological mother and my biological father grew up those ways. I've already gone over the details in reference to my biological father having been certified by the school of Bolivar 
My biological mother, having been in information technology, software engineering and design at Prudential, New Jersey, my biological mother convinced my biological father to go to nursing school. And so, you know, it just so happened to be at the exact time, you know, when I was in fifth grade. And so I dealt with a few situations um, that I've brought up. You can go through my official YouTube video my channel and so I had a nightmare when I was in second grade I have brought up a few situations regarding what I saw as a child and so um, in 2003 when it was known that I was not returning to Illinois my biological mother and my biological father and biological sister moved from Crystal Lake, Illinois, to the state of Texas. Those who have met my biological father and my biological mother, well, there's the San Antonio Pagan community in the year 2005. And as time went onward, as that was found out, then there's in reference to the San Antonio supposed to be consenting adult lifestyle scene and the same time that I got into the San Antonio Pagan community is the same time I got involved in the supposed to be consenting adult lifestyle community. And in both communities, there's college students. And so my biological father had been in foster care and certified by the school of Bulova and earned his way back into the Lee Association. I don't know what that is. I just know I have a buckum and a buckum. And so there's that. And so um, I was in Chinatown. My buckum and my bapu laid the foundations in reference to the different Chinatowns around the United States of America. And so I was invited to attend Marine and Science Technology School with the Navy attachment, and I was excited. And then there was the situations that occurred, and I went to St. John Vianney High School instead. I'm going to guesstimate as people listen to my official YouTube channel, you can see certain regards as if you know the details of experiences, but I will align them to how you can see the metaphor in regards of the Uvalde city in the state of Texas shooting this particular week in May of 2022. Today is the 27th, it's Friday. So when that occurred in St. John Vianney High School, those situations which I had predicted what was going to occur in reference to 1993 and I also predicted what was going to occur in reference to the basement situation or it's realistically a cellar because a cellar has doors outside to enter what would be considered as a basement underground in comparison to the structural architectural definition of what a basement is, where you can enter a basement through an exterior measure, such as a cellar door, however it's positioned to the building, in reference to an actual basement consideration, it is mandatory for there to be stairs from one floor to the basement area. And so that isn't the way in Old Tenet Presbyterian Church. There is not the entrance to the cellar from the inside of the church. And so I predicted what was going to occur in that reference. I dealt with that as well. 
anybody who has seen my biological mother and or my biological father and or my biological sister upset, well, I just wasn't following what they wanted. So you can envision my childhood in a little bit more of a depth. So my biological father, who had been in the foster care system, starting around 1959, maybe 1960, to the time he was 18 years old. And so he had been in several foster houses and orphanages. And my Bukgung and my Bukku being born in mainland China. And Linda, a biological female, and my Bukku threatened to China my biological sister in the 1980s. And yet I as the firstborn. And so then there's that, you know, he earned his way back into the Lee Association. And so um, I wanted to go in the armed forces of the United States of America compared to, yeah. And so then so then there was a move to Illinois and the army and I had the nerve to fight to go into the army because of my nightmare. And I also had refused to be a part of coding the 1998 into 1999 time frame. So I had a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000 and it was when I was in basic training, gone over the paperwork, how that was all filled out by hand. And so my clarifications and verifications through my journal blog on my website, www.susanmeeling.com, also known as www.ladydorybell.com, I had clarified. I went to Nick's Pizza with my uncle Leonard and his new wife, Sharon, and I had informed them of that life insurance situation that I filled out by hand in comparison to my biological mother and my biological father. So there's the typed portion that Senator Murray's office and administration was capable to get for that reference point, thank you. And so, those particular situations as to what people in the state of Illinois would have heard from that time frame, which they can compare to people in New Jersey, as far as those references. And then there's the state of Texas, as that's come out. And so, what is the shooter's background in that reference? What did the aspects of during that time frame have anything to do with in those factors. So then, then you have the amount of prescriptions that have been put on the market. And so you have foster care children and orphanage children. And I brought this to attention to people before. I did. However, it was as it was, and this is before the year of 2013. And so my biological mother in the year of 2010, maybe, or 2011, discussed how she was on a medical board review in reference to medications and certain side effects. And so my daughter was in and out of mental health institutions and I was informed of, I don't know what a black box medication is because I didn't understand. And since that was after the time frame of, you know, having landed at the bottom of the ocean and surfaced alive after earning all of my scuba diving certifications. And so this pattern of behavior, because you've got whatever my grandpa Gabbett was a part of, and then my biological mother, and that particular situation, because he had children with her mother and their half siblings. And so they would know as far as 
certain situations. And so then there was when I was in fifth grade, mm -hmm, in 1992 into 1993. There's also the jokes my biological mother may have made to a few people, such as, you know, when I was in a diaper. Maybe there's some people who could understand that. Then there's the water in the backyard of the house in New Jersey to take into consideration before the city water was put in. Uh -huh. And so, yeah, because of that well. And so then there's, I suppose I can make the joke in reference to the color of the water. And so, you know, <laughs> so there's these situations that Governor Greg Abbott had said that it wasn't, except for the past 20 years, that there's been school shootings. And it's only been a recent development of this particular situation. Well, what are the prescriptions that these children have been given? Because there is the known fact now as to MK Ultra. And so these children have grown up, so you have a 20 year period in reference to the 1980s into the 1990s regarding children who were in public schools and or private schools and the various prescriptions their parents had put them on, whereas I had not wanted to do so with my daughter or myself. I saw other methods, however, the situations were as they were at the time. And so, um, there's these factors to take in consideration. And so while other people told me what their degrees are and other people told me what rank they were and other people told me, you know, I didn't graduate basic training, like I didn't know. I mean, I'm the one who told them. Nonetheless, <laughs> just kind of that common sense. So in that particular reference of the past 20 years in the state of Texas, after having over a century of the Second Amendment, well, how many of these children have had these mental health prescriptions in comparison to dealing with the actual situation? You know, doing that masking situation in comparison to actually maturely actually taking care of the situations and dealing with it instead. Instead of passing the blame or anything, actually accepting responsibility and accountability for these various choices. So in the update portion of my journal blog, in my or in, in, which is called the Ornery PSA on my website, www.susanmeeling.com, also known as www.ladydorybell.com, you can see from the year of 2015 to essentially 2018-ish, mainly 2017-ish, I had pretty much taken a bit of a hiatus regarding certain things when it came to 2019. After my Medal of Honor Art Project trip in the year of 2018, and while I was working on several factors all at the same time as best as I could, there's the modern day book and my book section on my website, www.susanmeeling.com, also known as www.ladydorybell.com. You're capable to take that into consideration. And so while I had made attempts as best as I could with finding a silver lining and finding the silver lining, which the addition to the modern day book, as to certain factors to consider. And so my biological father had been in foster care and orphanages as a first generation Chinese male. And I look as I do. My biological sister obviously looks far more Asian than I do, yet I was raised with Buck Gung and Buck Poo. She's four years younger than me. By the time she was old enough to formulate a memory, 
we weren't going up to New York City nearly to that same level. And so there is those particular factors because by the time of 1994, well, we didn't go up to New York City much after that to see my bakanga and my bakka because of those factors. And so, um, you know, my, I was informed that my bakgang had been in the hospital um, in 1993. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And so, and remember Chinatowns in Manhattan. And so, you know, however, um, that situation similarly to my big blood brother and my grandpa Gavin. So in comparison, So, <laughs> you can take those into consideration as to however that's being. Nonetheless, so you have the fifth grade aspect of RN school and the levels of being capable to work on Bulova watches, Rolex watches, Mavado watches, Seiko watches, those highly intricate on the wall type of clocks grandmother clocks and grandfather clocks to that level of detail and through his level of detail he built a five car garage with a shed attached to the specifications of new jersey regulations for building mm -hmm. yeah came up with those blueprints to that point yes so then, on top of that, my biological mother, Prudential, and the healthcare situation, and all that, and information technology and software engineering. So they were upset with me for having the nerve to not want to move back to Illinois after waking up from my coma after my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. And so after what occurred in the year of 2002, during the Christmas season, uh, after I was shown the video, or told about the French film photog uh, French, Fr French film documentary 9-11. As far as that was concerned, my, um, that particular two week time frame was so horrific. I did what I could as best as I could. And so they knew I wasn't going to go back to even visit Illinois after what had occurred because I was not willing to have a discussion over the phone as far as what had happened. And since you have the reference in 2003 regarding what my biological sister did as to high school within the first week, not even seven days, not even a full seven days in school before that occurred. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did the best I could. And so my biological father and my biological sister drove in the Mercury Sable on the way from Illinois to the state of Texas. And they, you know, had whatever discussion over that length of time regarding the facts that they were choosing to move from Illinois to Texas. And so, well, my biological sister and I have something in common now. Uh, she got to leave her junior or senior year in high school and had to move, you know, before graduating compared to, you know, St. John Vianney High School to Illinois because of those factors. So you have that. I guess we have something in common now. It only took from 2000, well, I guess from the 1980s, 1990s, all the way to 2022 to find one thing in common. Okay, so <laughs> in that reference, it just took to that time frame, that's all. And so that occurred. And 
and those who know and have had that confirmed regarding what I dealt with at that time frame, including how I was wrongfully blamed for her choice in reference to that school homework assignment and that factor as to the house in San Antonio in my backyard, all that with those three children that I didn't invite to my property, but those eight parents regarding that. Yeah, because there was four children and that to take in consideration. And so, you know, there's that. So what could the MK Ultra situation be considered as to the foster care and orphanage situation in the comparable aspects? as to the Army, or the Air Force, or the Coast Guard, or the Marine Corps, or the Navy, in reference to basic training in AIT that people can think about. And so I did as best as I could for my daughter to prevent her from having to deal with situations, just as I did the best I could for my son to prevent him having to deal with certain situations. However, you know, I had the nerve to be invited to attend MAST after I had the nerve to be accurate in quite a few predictions. And then I also had the nerve to stand up for the correct choices in comparison to what everybody else was thinking. And then I had the nerve to be correct. Each and every time, yes. So in comparison to this point, I haven't said, and I told you so, in those 1980s, 1990s, early 2000s, into the 2010s time frame, because, well, anybody that's met my biological mother and or my biological father and or my biological sister and seen them lose it, their, their control in a temper tantrum sort of way, well, just remember, most likely you saw that when they were in the state of Texas in comparison to Illinois to that level. And most likely they were medicated. So they were much calmer than my childhood and teenage years. Nonetheless, then there's the facts that I had the nerve to move from San Antonio to Carrollton, Texas. Mm -hmm. I had the nerve to that Wilford Hall 2005 situation. So, you know, um, those, those factors of those choices. So, you know, um, so there's that MK Ultra situation that could be reviewed in reference to that. And then you have the 1980s and 1990s is to the amount of prescriptions and in conjunction to the prescriptions you have video games and computer games and movies and television so you know I don't know what they did in the 1950s 1960s 1970s time frames in reference to foster care and orphanages However, what I do know is in the 1950s was after the end of World War II. And so, you know, um, it seems that apparently there were some scientific situations to take into consideration, and that's in the United States of America. So, you know, um, morals and ethics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I've made attempts to warn and that. And so a bunch of individuals as far as 2000, most specifically, although I can go into 1998, well before. Uh, however, I'll say 2000 to this year of 2022 and the amount of situations combined. Yeah, and so in New York City, there were people who owed Mike money, and um, 
So his sister lived in Manhattan. So did her husband and their child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Linda and Phil worked at the USPS somewhere in New York City. And so there's that. So, <laughs> there's a few situations to think about. So, I'm the eldest, and I had the nerve to take a stand. My biological mother, in the year of 2010, had wanted me to give up on my daughter. And so, we argued and, and that she, she did that multiple times of trying to tell me to just not care because, you know, how dare I be a mom in that reference. And so a few factors to take in consideration. And so, you know, I don't know in regards to the Uvalde, Texas situation, however, what would the background be? And so uh, then there's the facts that people are living longer. So biologically, the age requirements to consent should be because of the longer length in time for life in comparison. So that's something to consider in those references as well. I mean, especially if there's any pop culture reference to that, probably should completely fix and repair that because of how many people have gotten into that. And then you have Again, the MK Ultra situation, which from what I understand, they're given some sort of medication of whatever mixture. And then I don't know what the rest of the project is. However, if you take in consideration people that were children in the 1980s and 1990s compared to teenagers that were in the 1980s and 1990s, and whatever pres prescription time frame of, and then video games and phone calls. And then as time progressed into the 1990s, computer games to a degree, and as technology went forward, and then 2000s to the 2010s, and how technology progressed, and that included social media. And so you have these combined situations as to maybe looking as far back in generations as you can for certain references probably might be something to take in consideration just in case there are anomalies that are capable to be found because those anomalies might be crucial, you know, um, to assisting in various ways. So in the reference of the knowledge to the justice of the peace situation. And again, it wasn't a big deal. It didn't phase my biological mother or my biological father as to the justice of the peace situation having been explained to them. Same thing regarding fifth grade. So, you know, what is humanity? What is a good parent? So I did everything I could for my daughter and my son and I, despite the situations. And even though I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain, it took eight and a half years to dissipate. So you have people who over the years of 2015, are 15 years old as teenagers and the time frame of the amount of technology exposure during the time frame of, depending on your levels. 
What is the difference to people who grew up with only radio, to people who grew up with radio and television, who, you know, as far as the reference points to consider, what are those viewpoints? Then take in consideration as to with computer developments and how personalities have become. Then you have the aspects as to these prescription situations and those particular factors of instead, well, if you need mental health awareness, which is important, it's something to take in consideration. What are the long-term impacts? So when you take in consideration of the scuba diving reference as to a metaphor, as to individuals going scuba diving in an underground missile silo, well, what would that translate to in regards to the natural water areas? When you take that into consideration in reference to prescriptions, and the reality of what does that take into consideration regarding a child's developing brain and or a teenager's developing brain. Those prescriptions in that capacity weren't to the same level. Yes, there were issues regarding mental health though it wasn't a description of words that could be brought forward during the time frames of. So when you take in consideration of the time frame most specifically between World War I and World War II and those factors, that's something to consider as to who was involved with what. What are their backgrounds? So if you have the reference point as to prescriptions, if it's supposed to actually be for healthcare because of progressing forward, then that would translate to actually needing to find ways to do so. And so there's no denying as to what I dealt with growing up as a child and a teenager. My biological father had informed me of certain situations he said he had been a part of regarding other factors in reference to Baptist Camp Lebanon as to what I dealt with. And so I made attempts to explain to people as to how my biological father had told me it was easy for that and you know fifth grade and so you know it is as it is because i had been myself and so um made the best attempts for my son and my daughter and you know, uh, those who would have been in the San Antonio area. I moved from San Antonio to Carrollton in the year 2008. Uh, for those who would have known my Gana and Patricia in that year, Wilford Hall was in the year 2005. So anybody who would have known Mike and or Anna and or Patricia in the years of that, just as similarly to the year of 1999 and 2000 into 2001 and 2002 in Illinois for that particular reference. So obviously social media has been capable to assist with a few things as to people's free will choice to type things out as well as whatever types of games in those references. And so then there's music, that, and various pop culture references. So getting to the bottom of the situations, then there's the fact that I went scuba diving and I didn't tell my biological mother 
nor my biological father, nor my biological sister in the year of 2009. And so then there's my ex-in-laws as well. And how many colleges are in the state of Texas? And then what happened as far as Austin? Just so happens to be that the first residential treatment center, my, bio my, my biological mother and biological father and biological sister having connections in the area of Austin as to uh, that Liberty Hill location. Mm -hmm. With Dr. Jackson, who was surprised that I, as a mom, would be as involved. And so then, so on and so forth, that I made attempts to explain to people in person, face to face in person during the years, 2010 especially, to 2012. However, the ways which uh, certain individuals had made their choices. And so now with the social media additional factors, because if regarding McCoy Elementary School, that had to do with either my hair and or my tattoos and or my modeling and or my scuba diving, so on and so forth. And so, um, then there's that to take in consideration. So again, I'm the only one to go through to speak with, especially in reference to several factors, whether in regards of the after effects of my head injury, whether in reference to where I was born and raised, my scuba diving, so on and so forth. And so in comparison, that's also another situation in reference to passive aggressive, because obviously that would be aggressive to go in that manner in comparison to having etiquette and respect when approaching the one and only as to those particular situations. So in reference to the possibilities as to various videos, various capacities of, and the details, especially to the clarifications and verifications. So in regards of what happened in Uvalde, well, what was seen? Was there anything on social media? Was there anything in reference to life circumstances, friends, family, so on and so forth, in person, face to face, in person, as well as the online factors? And so, you know, um, that's kind of how that goes instead. And when I made the choice to not invite them into my life after dealing with certain situations and doing the best that I could, well then there's that. So when you have the situation regarding Uvalde, among a few other situations, how long has there been prescription medications involved and what for? because then you have the capacity of looking at the information as to the ups and downs. Additionally, what needless drama? Because what people in the reference of the earlier updates regarding my journal blog on my website, www.susanmewlane.com, also the same as www.ladydorybell.com, as to so where I had written about certain situations that when reviewing in the year of 2019, when reviewing in the year of 2020, 
when reviewing in the year of 2021, as I knew, as I clarified and verified and was bringing that up, those situations as to the if aspects, as to the mental health benefits of telling the truth, the mental health benefits of following the Ten Commandments. Because if the only time you speak the truth in regards to that's considered as quote unquote mean is because it's the truth, well, that's not blasphemy. It's just the truth. It's not slander. It's just the truth. It's not libel. It's just the truth. In reference to the vanity aspect, well, if you utilize someone in a reference and yet you knowingly are whatever, then what does that show in regards of vanity to name drop in comparison? Then in regards of thou shalt tell the truth, thou shalt not bear false witness, so on and so forth, how much better would life be if people were to actually do so? If thou shalt not covet what's not yours, well, how much easier is it when you actually focus on what you want to earn for yourself while being capable to assist here and there where you can and yet at the same time? So you have all these situations, so such as my work regarding my scuba diving. Well, thou shalt not bear false witness because I haven't ever been given any invitation regarding any celebration regarding my work for clarification. So if anybody ever thought that I had, well, I hypothetically, since I can only tell the truth, hypothetically, that would translate to the truth of that. So while some people in a hypothetical, such as civilian recreational scuba divers, would hypothetically have a pattern of behavior, similarly, other people regarding that. And so that name dropping is a problem because that's literally bearing false witness regarding certain situations. So it's much easier in that regard. Now in reference to the Uvalde, Texas situation, well, what is in that time frame? Then you have the hormonal situations on top of the prescriptions, as far as that's concerned. And so in order to progress life forward, you have to take all these situations into consideration as to what actually is beneficial and assistive. So I've, I've listened to quite a few things more recently regarding E equals MC square, and he, among others, have discussed in these TED Talks and um, other videos that in the interviews with E equals MC square, he wants to do something interplanetary. Well, to do so, that translates to people getting stuff taken care of correctly because of. And so these particular situations as to genuinely for the betterment, it takes more than one or two particulars. So these are situations that I've given in this metaphor in regards of the Uvalde, Texas to review. Because while I've had personal experiences and I obviously can distinguish the difference in the time, I've brought up the year that, that should be common sense in regards of whether I refer to whatever year, though knowing that I'm posting in reference to such as my journal blog, the ornery PSA, in whatever year of. I mean, that's common sense as to the intellectual capacities. Those who would have actual genuine intelligence would be capable to distinguish that. 
since I am capable to distinguish the year regarding the clarifications and verifications, I obviously have brought up in my journal blog, especially during my updates, as to the year. So, you know, such as, for example, having went to the state of Texas after Washington State in the year of 2019, the updates. Well, then I also bring up other differences as regarding time. So people who have actual intelligence would be capable to pick up on that and wouldn't need that actually pointed out to them, unless that's a typical pattern of behavior. And at what point in time does that pattern of behavior actually get acknowledged that it's a pattern of behavior? because then you have that reference in regards of the Uvalde, Texas situation, among others. So for example, Dyfus had been called by my babysitter. Dyfus had been called in reference to Asher Holmes Elementary School when I was attending there, before I was in fifth grade. So each year, I don't know how many times so what Old Tenet Presbyterian Church can take in consideration is that historical society stuff. And so that amount of regarding pieces of paper or what have you, well, my biological mother and my biological father had the Dyfus situations in regards of my babysitter contacting Dyfus my school, a public school in a democratic state, having contacted Dyfus. So, you know, however, those common sense situations, my pediatrician having contacted Dyfus because of the way Mike and Anna were. Though, the perspective in comparison to the reality well, what is the same in regards of the Uvalde, Texas situation? Because you have the, the Facebook situation. What was it for the th three prior days? So 72 hours of time between the shooting compared to what did that individual deal with? Then go back seven days. Then go back two weeks. Then go back a month especially for that age, in comparison, if that type of whatever youth is more accustomed to the faster aspects because of the technological developments, well, that's something to take in consideration regarding the mental health awareness in conjunction with the prescriptions. So, hopefully that lecture that I just gave regarding my official YouTube channel assists bringing forward to light certain other factors to take into consideration. I appreciate you watching and listening. Make sure to like my official YouTube videos and share the links to my official YouTube videos. Go to my website www.susanmelane.com also known as www.ladydorybell.com Definitely go look at my journal blog, The Ordinary PSA, and share the links to my journal blog. And there's other stuff in reference to my website, www.susanmelane.com, also known as LadyDoryBell.com. I have sent a handwritten letter to the Amazon company, and hopefully that'll be a different situation which can be brought forward and certain other factors in the conjunction to hopeful assistance in reference to the Ordinary PSA, my official YouTube channel, and go to my website, www.susanmelane.com, also known as www.ladydorybell.com. Today is the 27th of May, 2022, on a Friday. Have a good day.